Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> this right here, guys, this is on my wedding day. Like you saw the Zim wedding picture of me, like you know, smiling and all that. Right, that fun ended, and it was time to be in the kitchen. You see all those pots and buckets, everything that's on there, like it was for me to wash. <laughs> And those two are the aunties, like literally they are sitting and watching me do all this work. I really like, I, I was looking at this and I'm just like, Rose, why are you smiling? Like in this whole video, like I was literally smiling, like I was smiling. You can see the girl is still like having hair. I don't know if I had removed my makeup at this point, but I think I'm still having my wedding makeup and my wedding nails, guys, yo. And the girl was determined. Like, you see, I'm even there joking around with the people that are making me work. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> yeah, guys, for all of you guys who want to marry into a culture that you don't know, please, guys, ask the questions. Ask the questions. Anyways, that's me um, just watching. And that's my aunt, like, saying everything that she needs to say to me. I don't know whether at this point she was encouraging or she was discouraging me from marrying into a Zimbabwean family. I don't know, but... Yeah, that was me, guys. Like, cleaning, cleaning, and cleaning. So, if you want to marry a Zimbabwean, just know that this is your job. Like, I don't want to say you're a maid per se, but yeah, you're something close to that. Like, you have to clean. You have to do everything. Like, you literally have to take over everything. So, yeah, that's me um, taking over the kitchen and cleaning so i'll just let you guys watch that and i'll see you guys in a bit So that's just me um, picking up, I think this was the last pile of dirt, yeah, like the yard was big so the rest were in the yard and unfortunately I didn't have content for that one because it was hot, everybody was tired and the ladies that were keeping me were also tired and also like I didn't think of filming it so yeah, when I remembered I was at the last one so that's just me showing you guys how it's done and I had to use um, the traditional broom around the house. So yeah, that was quite an experience. It was a very beautiful experience, I should say. I was laughing throughout this whole process, even though I was like tired and everything. But I'm sure you guys will see my smile from time to time. So yeah. Hi guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Because I'm tired, we are in Zim. Trying to, I'm eating what is this? Some Zim nets or Cheetos or whatever. Not Cheetos, what is this? Go slows. Anyways, this is the introductory vlog. 
guys, I'm out of breath <sighs> because we went to go pick up the pictures and <sighs> the day before yesterday was our wedding on the 24th, the second reception in, in Zim. <sighs> Sorry, we are currently still in Zim. We went to go pick up the pictures and <sighs> we were told the car must return at two and we currently it's 18 minutes to no 17 minutes to so we are praying that we make it on time by two we should be breathing in that kitchen <laughs> yeah Ish, it's hot it's hot guys Zim is so hot So I'll show you guys around. Currently in Bulawayo. Thank you. So see you guys. the zip market actually this is the one from in Bulawayo sorry um and we just I just went to go I wanted to see their market and one thing that I've seen that's different from them is that yo the crowding guys there is a lot of people <laughs> okay maybe it's because I'm coming from a small country where we don't really have as much people like in this video I was like the, you can see the way i'm filming because i'm afraid of keeping my phone out because it's also a place where there is also a high um theft rate so i try to keep my phone like in only like film where i see it's safe but there are literally people walking in front of you bumping you or like you know just inconveniencing inconveniencing your life so if you don't like crowded places uh, the market in Bulawayo or like the market anywhere I guess it's not the place to go so um, also one thing that I've realized about these people is that they have recorded audios of what they are selling and they would play that audio over and over and over again so you would hear that 
like you know instead of going to ask like how much is your tomatoes they already have an audio that's overly and over and over playing like the price so also one thing that I realized is like we were looking for shops, especially baby shops. There was a baby at home that I wanted to get like a gift um, before we came back to Namibia. But funny enough, there were no baby shops or maybe the ones that were there, like we just couldn't find them. You know, the things like Ackermann's um, or Jet or like even just Master Price where you can get um, baby stuff. There was nothing. Like we looked and we walked around and looked, but we couldn't find anything. So I think that was the other thing. So we had to, unfortunately, had to buy the baby from the uh, market. I also tried out some Zim snacks, but the thing is, I didn't, I don't have any footage of that. But just so far, like I did like some of their snacks. Others, I was just like, nah. But I, one thing I can say is like they really have good yogurt, like their um homemade yogurt. I mean, country made. They make their own yogurt and to be honest it was one of the best yogurts that i've tasted but yeah guys um this is i guess this is where we're gonna end this vlog this was quite a beautiful experience um my husband tried to take me to as many places as he could especially like living in Bulawayo, and there's not really much there but he tried to take me to the places where we could go so i really enjoyed my stay in zim and also like i enjoyed being a makote in zim so i'm sure you guys could see that in all those pictures i was smiling and everything it just means that like you know i've married into very good in-laws like you know even though some things are tradition and they will stay the way they are i think that um, i wouldn't have asked for a better um zim family so from me and my house, it's ciao, and see you guys in my next vlog. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Please do like, subscribe, and share if you can. And also just help people to my channel. We're trying to grow this channel this year, so let's hope that we um, get to that. So bye, guys, and thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Money.